Hello everybody and welcome back to my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke. Now last we left off we beat the gym and these guys ran away with some Devon parts. Um, so we're gonna go, we're gonna follow these guys. Yep, Devon parts, thank you. Um, and we're gonna go over here because we gotta go return them. That's just kind of how it is. Alright, we're on Route 116 which means we have a chance to get a new Pokemon here. I'm kind of hoping it's going to be a Skitty, maybe even a Nin Ninkata. Because this is the only place I believe in the entire game you can get a Skitty. Um, we're going to move Bok Choi up to the front just to, just, so, just so he can get some more experience. Um, we're going to try to like just walk around real quick, see if we can get anything. Anything, anything. Alright, here we go. Another Zigzagoon. I am sick and tired of these Zigzagoons. Let me give me something. Give me something different. Just give me something different. Thank you. Oh, a Whismur. All right, well, this is our only chance to get a Pokemon in this little area. Um, unfortunately, it's a crappy Whismur. It wasn't either one of the Pokemon I wanted. <laughs> because later up ahead, <sighs> I hate Whismur so much. Can't, oh, it's got echoed voice, though. I guess that's pretty good. They're just so annoying. I mean, you know how, like, caves and things can just be, like, stocked like, just chucked full of, like, Zubats and things. Well, in this game, they're just filled with Whismur. So I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at it right now. If it runs away or if it escapes, I really could care less. I'm never... I'm never gonna use a Whismur. Ugh. Alright, here, let me just speed this up. I'm tired of looking at this. Uh, speed, 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 speed. Gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. Uh, Alright. Well, like I said, it sucks that I didn't get a Skitty or a Ninkata here. Because Ninkata could have given me, like... Uh, I don't know if Ninkata gives me the... Dust stocks or the Beautifly. But it would have been cool to have like a flying Pokemon that I don't have yet. And up ahead, there's a cave that only spawns. It only spawns. It's the only Pokemon you can get. And it's a Whisper in that cave. So it's. I'm gonna have nothing to get in that cave. Because the other one guaranteed me a Whisper. So it's whatever. But we got it now. I'm gonna give it a name. I don't really know what I'm gonna name it. It's got the stupidest face. I hate, uh, I hate Whismur so much. We're gonna name it uh, Gumball. Yeah, it looks kind of like a Gumball, so you know, there we go. Nothing crazy. Uh. All right, so we made it to the cave, just up ahead. It wasn't really that far. This is guy. Oh no, Pico. All right, so we're gonna go rescue your Pico. We're gonna go get the Devon parts back. This is the cave, the Rust Turf Tunnel. Um, only. Whismur spawn in here. So, I mean, take that as you will. Freaking stupid. Alright, well, we got the Pokeball. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna fight the Team Aqua Grunt. Yeah, I'm coming at you. Come and get some. I will. But first, I think I want to talk to the bird. Can I take her? Take her? Take her? Do I need the Devon parts? Okay. Whatever. Fight me. Whoa, worthless. No way. It is such a sick animation, though. Like, with the Team Aqua thing and the water in the front stuff. This is meant for a 3DS, so I, actually all of this can be kind of in 3D, which is insane. Yeah, Alright, so we're going to take it. Yeah, I was saying last episode about the dark Pokemon and how they're really confusing. And my, mine is a psychic fairy against a dark Pokemon. And I think dark Pokemon are strong against psychic? I think that's what it is. Dark is strong against psychic. I think. Dark, I think, are also strong against fairy. I'm not 100% sure. But I, I think... Okay, so what I think is, is, is dark is strong against fairy and fairy is strong against dark. But I think... Dark is strong against Psychic, and Psychic has absolutely no effect on Dark. I think that's how that works. I'd have to look that up. I don't know if that's right. But Psychic, Fairy, Dark, Metal. Um, Metal less so. But they're, they're, they're also very confusing. It's, like I said, it's all, it's all just one really long game of like Rock, Paper, Scissors. One really complicated game of Rock, Paper, Scissors. And those are, those are the three that really confuse me. is the Psychic, Dark, and Fairy. And how they work against each other. Because I think it's like Psychic is strong against Psychic. And it's also weak against Psychic. So it's like double whammy if it's Psychic versus Psychic. And then Fairy just throws a whole wrench into the whole mix. Yes, I, I rescued your Pico. Yes, Mr. Briny. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Yes. I will 
I will not hesitate. I see. You live in the cottage. Wonderful. Yep. The bird's happy too. I'm going to go over here to the right just to show you that this tunnel doesn't go through. You're going to need rock smash if you notice right there. I can't get through. Um, all these like brown rocks. They can all be rock smashed. Um, I'm surprised I haven't came across a Wismer yet. Maybe they don't spawn in this cave? In this? Oh, never mind. Never mind. There's a Wismer. So this is the very first Pokemon. I ain't dealing with it. We're just skipping ahead to this guy. <sighs> yes, I did it. You're really great. Thank you. Give me a great ball. whoop de freaking do Well, at least now I'll be able to catch a Pokemon. Um, with a higher percent chance catch rate. Whatever it is. We're just going to follow you. Beautiful. Beautiful building. It is three stories. Um... I don't think I'll show you the other two stories. The top one is really the only one that matters. Yep, this is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Wonderful. Sounds great. Yes, I'll give you a moment. One, two, three, three seconds. All right. He couldn't have even walked over there in three seconds and came back. There's no way. Yeah, please go on ahead. Wonderful. Mr. Stone, president of the Devon Corporation. Oh, should I probably reread this off to you guys? <laughs> so you helped out with my, okay. There's a favor I'd like to ask you of a reliable trainer like you. I want you to know that I'm a president you can trust. Well, there's a first. <laughs> All right, with nothing in return. All right, give me your PokéNav Plus for a moment. Wonderful, there you go. Mr. Stone updated your PokéNav Plus. Buzz Nav function. All right, function that I added. Wonderful. Traveling the world, yay. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime, any place. Now let me, the important issue is what I need you to do for me. I love that like, Almanite picture in the background. Like right behind him. Gorgeous. All right, so I obtained the letter. It's to go to Steven, I believe. Um, I put the letter in my key items pocket. You have to cross the sea to reach Duford, of course. Of no Good thing I know Mr. Briny, the old sailor. Wonderful. I've only met him, I think, three times so far. <laughs> and people just won't shut up about him. Yes, if I'm unsure, I can always come talk back to you. I think I'm going to check out this Nav Plus real quick. Let me switch the screen. All right, bringing you the latest buzz from around the whole region. Street pass, whatever. No, I don't want to activate nothing. All right, you cannot exchange news, whatever, I don't care. Oh, wonderful, the HNN special. I don't care, I'm never gonna use it. I'd rather just have that little map in the bottom right. I wanna check out this painting. It doesn't do anything. Well, I thought it was cool anyway. All right, so we're gonna head back downstairs, we're gonna go over to the sailor port, we're gonna head over to Duford. Hey, it's May. Love May. Hey Seth, have you been catching lots of Pokemon? No. <laughs> uh, you're, you're, oh, you're doing good. You ran out of Pokeballs. Well, yeah, I can't say that for me. Oh, you also passed Mr. Briny. Wow, who'd have thunk? Route 104, you wouldn't have... I never would have guessed. <laughs> uh, I remember one of the very first times I ever started playing this game. That was actually something I was super confused about. Is not where, like, not like... It's like I missed the conversation real quick. Oh, and before I uh, before I head that way, I was gonna just cut there, but this is this is where you're gonna get the HM cut. So you can tell because it has the uh, whatever it's called, the trees outside their house. It doesn't have that in the original game. It took me forever to find cut in the original game too. But I was saying in the original when I had first like started playing, I didn't really know where his house was, and I I just searched everywhere and for him and and everything. So either way, so I got the uh, I got the HM cut. It'll be great. I'll probably give that to my uh, I think Zigzagoon can hold cut. I'm sure Mish can probably hold cut too. Uh, yeah. So I gave it I gave it to my uh, I gave it to the Zigzagoon. Uh, Wilhelmina. Ugh. You know I can't use a revive, right? That's just like spitting in my face. I'm done. All right. Yeah. This is the hut. But it took me a while to find it. I don't know why it took me so long to find it. It's pretty obvious. Um, might be less obvious in the original game, but still. Cut The, the cut building is also pretty difficult to find in the original game as well. So, Yes, it ain't Seth. 
Yes, I rescued your Pico. I've done lots for you. Can I go to Duford? Great. Wonderful. Let's head over there now. Also, the anim the cutscene animation to travel over there is gorgeous. Look at this. I'm sitting on the bow of the boat. <laughs> is that Pico? Or is that just a wing normal Wingo? I think that's Pico. That's great. Absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful cutscene. There we go. Just arrived. Strutland Duford. I don't know who names their place Duford. Yes, Leader Brawley. Yeah, there's a gym here as well. I think it's an electric gym? I, maybe it's a fighting gym. It's either an electric gym or a fighting gym. I know that this is where you get Flash. And I guess, I think Flash is like electric. I mean, it's not an electric move. But it makes me think of electric. So this is Route 107. Um, Super Repel. So technically, I guess if I were to fish here, I would get a 107 Pokemon. Is there anything else down here? No. So if I were to fish off the coast of here, that would be 107. And if I were to fish off the coast of here, would that be considered a Duford Town Pokemon? I really am not sure. Probably. Um, this is where this guy right here, it's he's in the same spot in the original game as well. He gives you the old rod. Right here, see, there we go. The old rod. So he gives you that so you can start fishing. But I think if I were to fish off the coast of this, I would count as a Duford, a Duford Town pull. I'm not sure. Just haul them in. Sounds great. All right, so we're gonna go up top. There's this thing, you know, kitty quarter. This is where the uh, it's just top left. It's just where the cave is. So this is Granite Cave. I have a new. I have another chance to get a new Pokemon here. I'm really kind of hoping it's gonna be an Abra. Come on, Abra. Oh, it's a Makuhita. You know, I'll take a Makuhita. It's a fighting Pokemon. Um, and I guess if I had an Abra, I mean, that's a psychic Pokemon. Ross is already a psychic Pokemon, so Makuhita is probably a better choice anyway. Um, I'm probably going to hit him once with the disarming voice, and then I'll probably throw a Pokeball at it. Oh my gosh, I almost one-shot this guy. Which means I would have been down a Pokemon. Alright, he's getting pumped up, which means his attack is, gonna, his, his attack is getting raised. So, I'm hoping I can catch him before he, uh, before he does any damage to me. Because fighting Pokemon can do a lot of damage. They're all about that physical, that physical strength. Less so against the special, the special defense and stuff. Looks like I did catch it. I don't know what I'm gonna name him. Hmm. I'm not sure. Either way, I grew to a level 16. Um, my HP went up one, 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 whatever. So it really didn't go up that much. And then the rest of my team, with the experience share. That experience share is really going to help me out in the future because it means that I'm not going to have to just stay there and just kill a whole bunch of, like, fish. You know what I mean? Either way, this is Makuhita. We're going to give him a name. Um, Darwin. So, we're, he's going to get the name Darwin. It's kind of a cute name. Whatever. I like it. Darwin. I think he looks like a Darwin anyway. It might have been cool to get him a chop. I don't know if Machop spawn here, though. Either way, we're going to go down here. And, yeah. Can I talk to this guy? Off the dark ahead, trying to explore, yada, yada, yada. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. Flash. Yeah. So, I knew I got Flash here somewhere. Wasn't sure where. I think I need to use Flash for the gym. Thinking about it. Um, if you notice that there was like a little cut there. Um, I went to go give a Pokemon Flash. The only one that could have held Flash was my Shroomish. And I decided not to give him the TM. Mainly because I originally had thought it was an HM. Because in the original game, Flash is an HM. And, and then you can't get rid of it. But it's actually in this game, it's a TM. And I didn't realize that until after the fact. But again, I don't want to give him Flash anyway. because Unless they really need it for the gym. Yeah. Okay, so I can't get in there yet. It looks like I'm probably going to have to battle the gym first. Come in here, get Flash, go in the gym. I don't know. I also got Miracle Seed, so I'm going to... Give this to my Shroomish. I got it in Pelberg. Um, I just kind of had cut it out. So we're gonna give this to Shroomish just so it boosts his uh his grass power. Nothing crazy, and he was already holding a tiny mushroom, so I'll sell that or something. Not sure. Who cares? Doesn't really make that big of a difference. All right, we're gonna go to the gym. Um, 
I could have sworn I had to use Flash. That's why they give it to you here. Okay, so this is a fighting gym, for sure, which is fitting because I got Makuhita. Um, don't use normal type moves. Got it. Sounds great. Um, I don't really know why I talk to him. <laughs> she looks at me when I get close to her. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, weird. Usually, uh, usually trainers don't look at you. <laughs> don't brush me off. We're gonna fight. She looks like she's gonna freaking kick me in the face. She is so intense. Alright. Metadite. This is a... I think this is a psychic fighting. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is psychic fighting. Might be metal fighting. I don't think he's metal, though. Kind of looks metal, though, which is why... I'm going to use this move. I'm going to just straight up confuse him right off the bat. Ooh, he's... Oh, he's getting pumped. I don't know if he is getting pumped, but he has attack rows. So we're just going to confuse him. Hopefully he hits, he hits himself and not me. <laughs> Uh, that's my, uh, that's my hope. Um, I'm gonna use Disarming Voice. Um, I could use Lucky Chant, so he doesn't hit any criticals on me. Okay, good. So they hit himself. I'm gonna use the Lucky Chant here. We haven't seen it yet in battle. Ooh. That was a pretty animation. You're gonna, t you're gonna hear me talking about how gorgeous the animations are in this game, because they really are. For someone who's used to, like, you know the 8-bit pixels from the original game or whatever it is. This is a really pleasant viewing to the eye, and I probably should have just done that in the beginning. Super effective. So, th th is that what that means? Does that mean that Fairy is strong against Psychic? Because I think that's a Psychic a psychic fighting Pokemon. Ooh, Baby Doll Eyes. Hmm. Should move me to, to lead it to replace it. Uh, what does Baby Eyes do? User stares at the target, lowers the attack stat. This move always goes first. Um, I don't know if I even want it. It's a fairy type. It's a fairy type move. And this is a normal type Pokemon. I mean, it's always nice to have variety in your thing, but no. Um, I don't think I want to learn Baby Doll Eyes. I, I think everything else is probably just better. So I'm just going to hit keep all moves. Yeah. It's gonna be that's gonna be for the best. Battle girl, battle girl Laura, four hundred and sixteen bucks for being a gym. You know what? I feel like you should pay. Okay, so I gotta go left and up. I feel like you should pay to enter the gyms, not get money from beating the people in the gym. He looked at me too. Weird. <laughs> so strange. This guy, I don't know if you guys ever watched the, uh, it's on Netflix. I don't know if it's a net Netflix, uh, exclusive, but it's on Netflix now. There's a, there's an animated, uh, Carmen Sandiego show, and this guy looks just like one of the people from, uh, was it Vile? I think it's Vile. Um, yeah, he just reminds me of one of the, uh, one of Carmen Sandiego's, uh, mentors. Um, if you guys ever watched that show, I don't know if you did. But, uh, I think it would have been really cool to have a Machop on our team. If they've got a Machop here, that means that I sh surely I could have got a Machop in the Granite Cave. Maybe not. But, I feel like I probably could have. I could have got a Sableye, too. Sableye would have been pretty cool. But again, that's a, that's a, that's a Psychic Pokemon as well. A lot of Psychics. Not a, not a crazy amount of Psychics. But, a lot of Psychics. I feel like Fire Pokemon are a lot harder to come across. In, uh... In this game, I don't know where the I don't know what the first fire Pokemon is. Maybe a Vulpix? Oh no, it might be a Torkoal. I could probably get a Torkoal from one of the other. Oh, I can also get a Slugma. Okay, so there's a few fire Pokemon that I know I can get. She's looking at me too. Stop staring at me. I'm supposed to make eye contact with you, not you making eye contact with me. <laughs> there's no need to get Brawly involved. Whatever. I think there is. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can get a. Hopefully I can actually get a fire type on my team because having that like range of types of Pokemon is gonna be really key. Which is another reason why I really want to have Ralts on my team because she's a she's she's just a different type that you can that you just don't get too often. Like unless I had came across like a Sableye or maybe an Abra inside that granite cave, I don't think I even had a chance to get a, a psychic Pokemon yet, and I don't even know when the next one's gonna be. 
You know what I mean? And so, to get that Psychic Pokemon early on, leveling her up. Super, super clutch. Um, yeah, not very effective. Trying to use Disarming Voice on me. And yeah, that was definitely a Psychic move, I think, that Metadite just used. So, I think that just confirmed that it is actually a, a fighting Psychic Pokemon. So, noteworthy. Darwin grew to level 11. How nice. And you're sending out a Machop. Easy. I could take on Machop. In fact, I think I might... Should I give Bok Choi a chance? I think I'm going to give Bok Choi a chance. We don't want Ralts or Glimmer here. We don't want... I keep I keep referring her to... Like, her her type of Pokemon, but that's not... We need to use, we need to use their names, alright? So, Bok Choi. All right, we're gonna call her. We're gonna we're calling him Bok Choy. We're calling him. We're calling him Kip. Whatever. Bok Choy. We're gonna hit him with a stun spore so that he can get paralyzed right off the bat. Nothing crazy. Hopefully he doesn't hit me. Hopefully he just says he's paralyzed and he's unable to move. That's my guess. Fo okay, focus energy. That's not gonna be good because he's getting pumped, which means his attack is getting raised, and I think his defense is also getting raised. I'm not 100 sure. His attack for sure. So I'm gonna use Mega Drain. Mm. That does not do that much. Oh, that does not do that much. What did you just use? Okay, well, my defense fell, and your attack rose. So, that's not looking too good. I'm probably going to Leech Seed him. I probably should have Leech Seed him first, just so I can get that constant, like, health coming in. And I think it... It doesn't duplicate, but it definitely... Oh my gosh. Okay, that was a critical. So, a critical hit did just over half my damage but I don't know if that was a low critical or a high critical because there's like a there's like a damage range um, I think I could take him on as long as I keep mega draining because I'll be I'll take his health back who's to say he's gonna crit again anyway I'll mega drain I still got that leech seed he had a damage buff I don't know if he still has that damage buff my defense fell again though that's twice if my defense fell yeah leech seed so I'm getting more health there. I Mega Drain, so I'm back up to 34 health. I think if I Mega Drain him, I should be able to kill him right here. That Paralysis is doing nothing for me, though. Boom. All right, so I killed him. I think that maximized my health again. I don't know if it did. It might have. Level me up. That's all I know. Bok Choy, level 15. I want to learn a Headbutt. You know what? I'll learn Headbutt. Why not? We're going to forget, uh, probably Tackle. Tackle, I mean, I think Headbutt's just a better Tackle anyway. So we're going to just hit Forget. Yeah. One, two, and ta-da! Bok Choy forgot how to Tackle. That's sad. But he learned how to Headbutt. Less sad. Kip learn grew to level 18. Wants the loot learn Bide. Now, Bide is going to be a really scary... I mean, I'm going to probably forget foresight foresight i i never use foresight let's be real who cares um but bide is going to be one of those i don't know how much i'm going to use bide but bide is definitely going to be a, a a move that i have to watch out for in the future because what it does is it's like you can't attack for like two turns or something if i'm if i remember correctly you can't attack for two turns and then you deal twice the amount of damage that you had been taken. Um, Alright, so I went, I healed. So, like, let's say they used Bide, and I hit him for 50 health within those two turns. He would hit me for 100 health, which is just absolutely insane. So that's going to be something I need to be weary of. But I went, I rehealed my Pokemon... We're here at Brawly. We're going to fight the gym leader. Again, I apologize for this episode being a little bit longer. We hit, we hit another gym. Um, there's only so many gyms in the uh, in the entire game, and we hit two gyms, you know, two episodes in a row. So I would say that that's pretty lucky, but we're going to be fighting Brawly here. He's looking pretty cool. He definitely looks like an electric-type fighter, but he's a fighting gym. I don't know what the electric guy looks like. I can't remember. He's sending out a chop right off the bat, though. Um, you would think a gym leader, <laughs> like a leader of the gym, would probably send out, like, a Machoke or something. Um, it makes me wonder if, like, when you go to fight these guys, if, like, if I had been stronger, maybe they would, like, choose to give me a higher Pokemon. 
Because surely they uh, they adjust their stats to my stats. You know what I mean? Like, not gameplay-wise, but like, if you were to actually live in the world. I feel like that's what the gym leaders would do. So we're hitting it with another Disarming Voice. It seems to be pretty effective against these fighting Pokemon. Um, if you look up here, level 14 is what the Machop is. I don't remember what level I am. Um, I gained 183 experience, though. That's not too bad. Uh, Brawly's going to send out Makuhita? No way! I have a Makuhita myself! Little Darwin. I think I'm going to switch over to Bok Choy, though. Bok Choy, you know, he needs to get some, uh, he needs to get some experience in. I kind of feel bad for the other, the other guys, but I like Bok Choy, and we need to level him up. So, Bok Choy's going to take out Makuhita with, a. Uh, eh, we'll probably poison him, or not poison, paralysize him. There we go. Now he's not going to hit me even if he wants to hit me. Pathetic. <gasps> no! Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. That was a lot scarier <laughs> than I wanted it to be. Uh, so, I'm just going to switch him back out. Um, come on, Glimmer. <laughs> Bok Choy, that was good. Good fight. You paralyzed him. Didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, we're not going to have any casualties today. <laughs> Alright, he's using bulk up, which means he's getting stronger. I think that's defense and attack. Yeah, his attack arose. Yeah, and his defense arose. Yeah, okay. Uh, Glimmer, we're gonna use, uh, sh we're just gonna confuse him. He's gonna be paralyzed, he's gonna be confused, and he's not gonna be able to touch me. In fact, he's getting so much stronger that he's gonna hurt himself even more. It's gonna be great. Ha! Okay, well, he didn't actually take off that much damage, but he didn't take off any damage of me. And isn't that more important than anything else? I'm using Disarming Voice. I kinda wanna get a new move. A different move set, because, I don't know. Sorry, voice is great and all, but it's kind of boring. Alright, he's using bulk up again. Yep, his attack and defense rose again. But, this is a fighting gym, and disarming voice is a special attack move. So, he'd actually have to be raising his special defense. And, of course, they used a freaking heal. Ugh. This is why gyms can be just so annoying. But, I'd rather take him out slowly then you know just go all out you know and not have any you know defenses on myself so all right so we took out their makuhita and we took out their uh, machop i think that was pretty good gumball grew to level 13 who cares darwin to 12 thank you i like darwin darwin's pretty cool i never use makuhita i should probably start playing with uh with her a little bit more. All right. Well, we beat uh we beat gym gym leader Brawly. Got a really sick pin. A little circle with a rock in it. The knuckle badge. Yeah. All right. Up to level thirty. Whatever. Okay. Sure. Bulk up. So they gave me TM bulk up. And I again, it's weird that the TMs can be used like an infinite amount of times. I think that's absolutely crazy. I feel like TMs, you can only use them one time, period, and they were done. Uh, I have been to the Granite Cave. It was full of people. <laughs> ah, your friend Steven is there. You don't say. I have a paper to give to him. We're just going to head that way now. Before I do anything, you gotta heal your Pokemon. That's just kind of how it is. Ah, oh, hello! Welcome to the Pokemon Center. I would love to rest my Pokemon. They've taken a beating, Bok Choy specifically. Holy cow! If I lose, if I if I, if I lose Kip, or if I lose Glimmer, or if I lose Bok Choy, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm just gonna leave this episode of my uh, my Nuzlocke here. I'm gonna talk to this lady. Probably sit down next to her. Yes. Very nice. But uh, yeah, if you guys liked it, you know what to do. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.